uh, you know, why did the chicken cross the road, you know, to buy some crypto, of course. But let's dive into what happened uh, last week in the world of digital currencies. Uh, after a horse of well, the crypto sphere came alive with intriguing stories that kept us on our toes, from controversies surrounding well-known firms to surprising political endorsements. There was never a dull a moment. So buckle up as we revisit the exciting happenings in the crypto universe. Uh, firstly, the CEO of Telegram found himself under arrest in France, causing shockwaves throughout the crypto community. Linked to a dreads probe, Pavel Durov faced questioning regarding illicit activities on the messaging app. Consequently, Toncoin connected to Telegram plunged by over 14%. Despite broad stability in the digital currency market, public figures rallied behind Durov, advocating for his swift release. Next, cyber criminals set their sights on fast food giant McDonald's, targeting its massive Instagram following. By hijacking the account, they peddled a bogus Grimace meme coin and successfully swiped $700,000 worth of Solana. Thankfully, McDonald's regained control of the profile promptly and deleted the deceptive promotions. McDonald's and political drama unfolded when Robert F. Kennedy Jr. suspended his presidential bid and back Donald Trump instead, both avid supporters of Bitcoin. Following his withdrawal from ballots in critical states, Kennedy threw his weight behind Trump, citing concerns that his continued presence could bolster rival Democrat contender Kamala Harris. Legal woes hit close to home for one-time crypto champion Michelle Bond, charged for receiving prohibited campaign funding from her FTX exec partner. Accused of submitting erroneous disclosure forms of central partner, during her 2022 congressional race, Bond awaits trial for alleged violation of election financing guidelines. Australia's regulatory watchdog secured victory in court against Kraken's regional operator for failing to adhere to stipulated procedures before offering a specific financial product. BitTrade Pty Limited drew in criticism from the Australian Securities and Investments Commission. With regulators stepping up enforcement actions, Companies operating in the region should brace themselves for stricter oversight. Uh, turning to markets, Bitcoin prices rose considerably heading into the weekend. Bolstered by Fed Chair Jerome Powell's suggestion of imminent interest rate cuts, the premier digital currency soared above $6,400, $6,600. Meanwhile, Ethereum enjoyed similar success, closing strong at approximately $2,750 per unit. And let's not forget about Solana, seeing double-digit percentage increases alongside popular muting its blockchain ecosystem. Your Our journey through altcoins brings us to Sony's ambitious entry into the blockchain realm. Unveiling its very own network dubbed Sonan, the electronics titan seeks to leverage Ethereum's infrastructure via Optimism's OP stack tech. Anticipating its initial rollout in testnet mode soon, Sony envisions incorporating this novel system into diverse business divisions, ranging from music to films. Wrapping up our tour, Grayscale Investments expanded its suite of crypto products by introducing the Grayscale Avalanche Trust, enabling investors to gain access to AVAX tokens, supporting the burgeoning Avalanche blockchain. In tandem, Brazil granted approval for yet another Solana ETF, further legitimizing the sector. Brazil and with that said, Thank you for joining us on this thrilling ride. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled for the ever-evolving landscape of cryptocurrencies.